Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Kongston Labs' second channel. Today we're going to be looking at some servers. I had a whole stack in the past, I'm not sure if you saw in previous videos. We're going to be looking at this R710 and just reinstalling Windows Server. Let's go. So as you can hear, the server is quite loud. I'll try to talk more into the mic. There's a little screen on the front where you can configure certain things and look at errors. Alright, configuring memory. So, um, there is a Windows install on this, but I'm going to wipe it and put Windows Server 2022 on it, which I've prepared a USB drive for. I do have a R610 as well, um, that is running as my Minecraft server and a few other services right now. But this one, I'll probably just put aside since it takes up the most power. Well, it takes up more power, but not the most. My older servers take more. I'm gonna enter the boot manager and boot from the USB drive I put in the back. There will be various cuts throughout this video, so don't be surprised if you suddenly see something like this. Anyways, when the server starts, the hard disks do make some noise as they initialize. They are 15k RPM apparently. We're booting right now. I already configured the RAID to be RAID 5 with all 6 drives. That was like pre-done. I don't know if it was me in the past. I've had these for a while. I think these were retired. Okay, so let's put it into the hard disk and the cruiser glide. Just a note, this does have the iDRAC for the remote management. Like, when the server is off, you can still go through and do all the things. I haven't set that up um, because it needs a separate Ethernet cable, and I just don't have that right now. Okay, we're booting into Windows Server. The setup's relatively quick since it's from a USB. Windows Server is also a relatively light system with not much on it. Okay, we have loaded into the graphical interface. You will notice on the newer versions, it says Microsoft Server Operating System, like in 2022, but the 2020, 2019 version does not say that. 2019 version still says Windows Server. Okay, we will choose the data center with desktop, since I don't feel like working with the command prompt. And then you just accept it and you can just okay so i experienced this yesterday as well with my r610 you actually need a separate driver i'm not sure if this is the same driver but i'm just gonna try okay i've plugged in the drive it should be the same raid card so it should be the same driver you can just hit browse go to the drive and then where you put the drivers. Yeah, the Dell Perk 6i RAID controller. Once you install it, it should pick up all the drives. This might take a minute. All right, as you can see, now it picks up all the partitions. We're just gonna delete all of these. This is set up in RAID 5, so we do have parity, failure. I think it's one disk. These are all, th all six are 300 gigabyte SAS drives. And they're all the 15k there, all 15k. Uh, there's like Seagate for four of them and two of them are Fujitsu, I think. Right now it's complaining about, I don't know why, autofocus. It's complaining about uh, power supply. But we can just wait for this to install. Okay, so the installer is currently installing updates and finishing up, so it should restart soon. Server has remained relatively quiet, surprisingly. On initial power up, it's really loud, but after it chills, it's chill. I did measure. Oh, don't worry about that. I did measure power consumption in the past. This one takes like 207 watts, just idle. The one on the top takes a little more, despite it being only one U, but it is older, so that is to be expected. 
these two are also older. The bar, the top one matches this one, but it's the one U is the two U variant. And that very bottom one is a Pro Liant something 380. I forgot which generation. It's the oldest I have. It was running ESXi when I got it, but I think I then erased it. Not sure. That one only has two drives. The rest of them have six. And this one has two. The one that I have, uh, the R610 I have running, has six two and a half drives. Windows is restarting. I went ahead and pulled out the two drives. Because we don't need them anymore, since it'll just boot from the primary hard disks. These servers are probably good for virtualization. Hence, I have Hyper-V running on my R610, and I have it, since the drive capacity is different, I have it set up differently using RAID and all that. This one is just RAID 5, all of them. It's pretty simple. It's loading in right now. All right, we're st still booting. Two 1.6 quad-core processors, I think. Uh, my R610 has a similar config, except the memory speed, the memory speed tends to change between 1066 and 800 for some reason. And the other server I have, I think slot A3 has a problem, like RAM slot A3. This one seems to be fine though. These are the iDRAC settings, but I don't have it plugged in to the Ethernet. Alright, there's Windows. I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable right now to the main mix so I can set up Windows. Okay, so we are loading in here. This should do the device initialization. After that, we should be able to set an uh, initiative password. Okay, we are loading into Windows. It's making a very satisfying cookie sound. After that, it should prompt us to set a password. Okay, so Windows has successfully started up. I'm going to input a password. Okay, so I've just set the password and now it's gonna prompt me to press go off delete. I'm gonna type it in. All right, and we are logging into our fresh install of server 2022. It's gonna do all the personalization. While these are quicker hard drives, they are still hard drives and they take a while to load, but I find them sufficient for most things. Oh, did you see what happened earlier? That was a Cortana logo, but they removed it. It is on LAN, so we will say yes. And yeah, server manager should automatically launch and we should be able to remote into it. Using the Windows app, I do have the Power Edge that I can log into. This is the one I have, um, uh, the 1950. It is running some Hyper-V virtual machines, and it is doing that actually pretty well. I have just these three. I can actually sign into one of them. Okay, so I did minimize the server windows just for privacy, but this is server 2019 running in a virtual machine. Okay, back to this. This is now ready to be set up. We can go local server and we can see all the details. I am going to turn on remote desktop. And then now we should just be able to connect from the very same app that I have. One, one moment. 
So now I can just press plus, PC. Let me type in all the details. All right, we should be able to sign in. Oh, okay. So it will lock this and show over here. This is now this very server being remotely controlled by by the iPad here. So technically now, we don't even need the monitor anymore because when this server connects, it'll be the same host name. This is Server 2072 Data Center. And yeah, that's about it for this server. Thanks you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Tell me if I should move this to the main channel. I will go ahead and power this down. You know in the past, Windows Server made you write like an entire essay on why you wanted to turn off your computer. And right now you still have to select, but you still have to select, but it's less to select. This will be a planned hardware maintenance, I suppose. Goodbye. Oh. Do it.